Uh, John Now is a major Republican, and I'm a Democrat. I support Barack Obama. Governor McDonald is a Republican, okay, but he supports conservation, as he said, with the 400,000 acres of open space and preservation. Why? Because it tells America's story. Why? Because it keeps America healthy. Why? Because it's important for jobs in America. Over 8 million jobs in the United States for America. And so it's important that we come together and stand up for conservation. And that includes funding. Uh, this last year there was a point in time where I called John Now and I said there's a bill on the House of Representatives that essentially will totally take, destroy, decimate funding for historic preservation for Land and Water Conservation Fund, which we're using the $4 million here today and everything else. We're able to save it. The voice of conservation has got to be heard so we address the issues that many of you raised, which is when we have people who come here to see the wonderful things that we have here in the United States, they have something that they can truly celebrate. So we need your help in making sure the funding streams are there for us to be able to work on. Native Americans. Uh, it is important that we tell the story of all people. Uh, the, the strength of America and its future in the 21st, 22nd, 23rd century and beyond is the diversity of this great nation. And you cannot have a strong and united America if you're not telling the story of Native Americans, of the Japanese internment camps, the African Americans, of the birthplace of the first African American. All of those stories uh, need to be told, and that's part of Director Jarvis's agenda as he moves with the National Park Service into, into the 21st century. Uh, three, uh, the heritage uh, tourism uh, areas uh, that have been uh, created, uh, they are wonderful uh, examples and they exist all over the country. They are under attack, frankly. Uh, many people think that we ought not to create another national heritage tourism. It's a big debate that goes on in the floor that I served on in the U.S. Senate all the time. There's a few members of that body who believe we ought to not to, we ought to totally eliminate the program. Don't let it happen because, uh, frankly, our heritage uh, is important uh, to us today, but also important to our to our future. And uh, there are many places around this country that are eligible for the kind of energy that communities bring to uh, to those uh, to those heritage uh, areas. Um, let me, um, for all of you who have talked about Fort Monroe, let me just say, um, you know, I, I guess I have never understood why uh, there was any question at all. I mean, it's just such a, a wonderful historic place that does so much in terms of telling the story of all of America. In the beginning and end of slavery, as uh, you well said, and so we're proud to have uh, played a role in all that. Uh, many of the other questions which you uh, raised here today, some of them have to do with the Park Service, some of them have to do with uh, the broader tourism initiatives. Uh, so let me just say on the Park Service, as well as anything that we do in the Department of Interior, we're always looking for better ways of doing things. And so, Veronica, as you say, we need to put a little bit more <laughs> appeal to the sign of advertising. Well, you know, maybe we do. And so we in government uh, always ought to be open to uh, doing things in a better way and always open to suggestions. And so today, with our other superintendents and Director Jarvis and us, if you have ideas on how we do it better, you let us know. Uh, I say this often as I travel around the country to wildlife refuges, national park service areas, and so, and so forth, that our best national parks are those where you have a strong community organization and strong friends groups, okay? Yep. So when I went to Fort Monroe, and uh, I, we had a hearing with some two, three hundred people there, uh, one of the questions that I asked are you willing to be part of a friends group to make yep. this a truly iconic national park? Everybody in that room stood up. Uh, we need to have that same kind of a strong uh, friends group here for the Richmond Battlefield National Park. And so as that group has already been formed and is forming, we ask all of you in the community uh, to be a part of it. Lots of uh, the facets that you spoke about are things that we will incorporate as we move forward with our uh, national uh, strategy and implementation on, on tourism for America. At the end of the day, uh, it really is about the economic security of the United States and making sure that we have <laughs> a healthy economy here in the U.S. and tourism is one of those cornerstones and with your help uh, we're going to be able to get it done uh, here in this country. We have so much to teach uh, the rest of uh, the world. You know, as uh, John Jarvis was speaking about uh, Ken, uh, uh, Ken Burns and Dayton Duncan, 
And they uh, asked the question, why didn't you come up with this uh, title, America's uh, uh, National Park, America's Best Idea? Why didn't you just say it was a good idea? Why didn't you just say it was a great idea? Why didn't you say it was one of America's greatest ideas? But why did you say it was America's best idea? And as I had lunch with them uh, before the film came out and they were telling me about what they had done, they said, it's because the national parks uh, represents an idea which is radically American, radically democratic. Because when you look at the Yellowstone or the Yosemite, the uh, great uh, places that we have in this country, they're not just there reserved for the noblemen uh, as they would have been perhaps in Europe and other places. Or you'd have to be a multi-millionaire to be able to get into those places. Our national parks belong to you, the people. Our places of heritage and remembrance belong to you, the people. And that's why, as we meet here today, it is truly a reflection of the fact that we live in a wonderful country. And what we do with our national park system and what we do with tourism is very much a part of that. Thank you all very much.